Hi folks, here we're in the timber. Gonna do some TSI today. Just wanted to talk a little bit about what we're doing first. As you can see, it's snowing again. Um, we're out here working, and as you can see, there's a crop tree on this side, a white oak with red dots on it. That indicates that's a desirable species we want to keep in the timber. Uh, we mark it with red bands or red dots to indicate it is a crop tree, and it's a tree we want to save for a long-term uh, effect in this timber for mass production and maybe possible l lumber production. Um, we're going to basically do a thinning process called crop tree release. We're going to actually kill a couple white oak in here next to our other white oak to thin out the competition here. So these crop trees marked with red will grow faster. Uh, so in this case I'm going to double girdle this smaller white oak right here. There's another oak down below that needs killed. And I'll just show you the process of, of killing these trees here. tree standing. Um, the roots, the lower unit of the tree is actually going to remain alive. It's going to kill the crown to open up sunlight for the crown of the neighboring tree. That's the whole goal here with crop tree release. The important part here is keeping a space of at least four inches between your double girdles to make sure you don't get any um, uh, extended or, or jumping across the girdle. So you do kill this tree. Um, you need to make a complete band. You can't you can't miss. You have to make make sure you you line up the bands all the way around. If you do come off center, you can cross it and complete the circle. Uh, but anyway, we killed this tree. We go through the timber, pick out trees we want to kill and, and crop trees we want to save, and that's the process. But you do have to kill some desirable species. Um, most people are wondering why you kill a white oak, and that's that's the reason. We just need to to release the competition here. There's too much competition. They're growing too close together. So there, we favored that tree. It's a little bit bigger. Got about the same quality. You can't see it here as much on this tree, but there's quite a bit of epicormic branching on the other side. About the same as our crop tree, but our crop tree is bigger, so that's going to become a more favorable tree. It's got the advantage. So we're going to kill this tree to help it even more. We got another tree over here that's similar, and we just go through the process throughout the whole timber um, in that manner. And we'll move on to the next spot. In this case, we're still in the timber doing crop tree release. Here we're going to have to kill a black oak right here that's impeding on these white oak trees next to it that we want to we really want to favor the white oaks in this spot because they have the advantage up on this ridge top so you may not be able to see it there's a crop tree white oak right down here but we're going to kill this tree to favor that crop tree white oak so we'll double girdle the black oak crop tree release in this timber. I uh, get my muss up here so I can hear myself talk. Um, up here we have a crop tree uh, marked in red. Uh, hopefully you can see. We have a tree next to it that needs killed. It's an oak but it has a, a sharp V 
trunk, about 10 feet up the tree, 12 feet up the tree. That's not a favorable trait, so we're going to kill that tree in favor of this very desirable crop tree. It has a very um, clean bowl to it, just a very nice stem quality. That could be a veneer tree someday. So we're going to double girdle that oak over there. Shagbark hickory. Um, you probably can't see that, but we'll move on. Here we are in the side hill. We're gonna have to kill another tree here. In this case, a black oak. Pretty good sized black oak, but really we're favoring the white oak on this hillside. Southern exposure, it really wants to grow a higher quality white oak. So we're going to eliminate the black oak in favor of this white oak, which means we're going to have to double girdle this black oak again. Here we go. 